Hi Gemini, welcome to your weekly forecast, tarot forecast, for February 4th through the 10th. We're starting off this week on the 4th with a new moon in Aquarius, which is going to be really perfect for manifesting because we are going to be in mental clarity, okay? We're going to have a clearer mind, clearer vision on how to make things happen in our life. So we're going to see how this energy is affecting Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising. This will be a general reading for career, money, family, spiritual growth. Love readings are done separately. I will have a link to the love readings in the description. So you can check out the love readings after this video if you would like. All right, Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Let's see what is up for your Monday, Tuesday your wednesday thursday your friday saturday and sunday all right lovelies let's see what's happening monday tuesday you've got 10 of pentacles so very exciting changes in terms of finances and career uh pentacles are also to me cards about energy okay because money is a physical measure of energy spent so some of you have been putting a lot of time or energy into something and now is the time when you're going to be able to enjoy that where you're having a return come back in some way some of you are being positively rewarded in terms of something that has happened in your work life so this could be a promotion, this could be a bonus, this could be a raise. Uh, for some of you, I'm hearing repayment, repayment, repayment. So some of you, maybe money has been owed and you're, you're receiving some kind of uh, repayment, which might seem not that big of a deal, but it is because it's letting us know that something in your energy has shifted, especially if this is a long overdue uh, amount that was owed to you for a long time because it means that something in your energy shifted or changed to where you feel like you deserve this you're worthy of this and therefore it's coming in some of you might be receiving a loan that you're going to be able to pay off over time and again that's a change or shift in your energy because you're you're in that energy of receiving you're opening up to receiving and so for a lot of you you're going to feel that change happen in a positive shift for you financially there could be some investment coming in or a payout from an investment you had previously made in the past but definitely as we're coming with that new moon energy gemini a lot of you are focused on money right now a lot of you are focused on finances Your Wednesday, Thursday card is 10 of wands. And this looks like a sad card, but the message with 10 of wands is that some long project, something that you've really been struggling with or working on is finally coming to completion. You, everything there is to do, you have done it. And now all that's left to do is put down that burden, put down that weight and go home and rest, okay? Or go on to the next thing or to the next project. Sometimes when Ten of Wands comes up, it is letting us know that we have been carrying a lot of burden on our shoulder, okay? It's time to put it down. Either you've been beating a dead horse and you got to stop doing that, or uh, it's time for some of you to delegate. You know, maybe you need to have help in your life. For some of you, this could be emotional. Like maybe the universe is asking you to let somebody in emotionally to help you with... Uh, burdens or things you've been dealing with to like open up what's in your heart it doesn't mean you have to be in a romantic relationship with somebody it could be in terms of friendships um i've said this a lot in other videos gemini you all can really stay in the surface sometimes where you don't get very open about your feelings or you're very much into the small talk or you get distracted very easily you might not be the most emotionally available people, okay? But I, like I said here, I'm not focusing on love life in this reading. I'm focusing on uh, development, growth, finances, spirituality, all of that good stuff. So the universe could be asking some of you uh, Geminis. I was going to say samurais. <laughs> I don't know, unless you're, unless you're a Gemini who happens to be a samurai, in which case I would love to meet you. Um... But if you are a, a Gemini who has been having a hard time, it's time to work on trusting. It's time to work on friendship. It's time 
to work on letting someone come into your life and be open with them, be real with them, you know, turn to them for support, okay? Some of you have been carrying something for far too long, and uh, for some of you, it's resulted in some kind of addiction, okay? Whether it's sexual addiction, uh, drinking, shopping, gambling, being a workaholic, you know, whatever it is, some of you have been trying to fill some void, and now maybe you're trying to break that cycle and you're having a really hard time doing it, it's because there's something emotionally that needs to be released. And that's going to be released by you allowing someone to step in and like be that listening ear or be that support or be that comfort. For other ones of you, you know, you're just coming out of a difficult time. Uh, your hard work will pay off. Sorry, the glare from my lamp is just like bright. Um, so some of you, there's some change happening in that way where uh, you know, you, you, you can move on to the next chapter or move on to the next big thing in your life. You're completing something in a positive way. Six of Pentacles. Again, this is a reoccurring message here. What did I say, my friends? I said that some of you are either receiving a loan or being paid back for, for money that you had put out. And Six of Pentacles is very much that energy. Six of Pentacles is uh, receiving financial generosity or being able to pay back a loan, okay, being able to pay money back and at the same time being able to save for your future as well as be generous towards others. Six of Pentacles is really the ideal financial situation to be in, okay, because you're free and clear of any debt. You're able to put money away for the future. You have money for living a comfortable life and, and, and having some good times. You have money to where you can be generous with others in the appropriate you know, situation for the appropriate amount. It's really getting balanced with the generosity. Gemini, I feel that for some of you, you've been generous in the wrong times, in the wrong situations, okay? I think some of you maybe have gotten suckered where people have been able to really take advantage of you because, you know, they had something that you wanted and so you were trying to prove your worth or your value by stepping up in some way financially, okay? So maybe you were getting stuck in like that, you know, uh, sugar mom or sugar daddy role or maybe you were just getting stuck with friends or people taking advantage of you and so a lot of you are becoming a lot smarter and you're realizing that you don't have to play that game for people to like you or that you know the people that are doing that they're never gonna like like you or anybody else because that's their end game that's all they care about it's not like you're, anybody's going to be able to win this person over. They're just, they're just looking for their own gain. For some of you Geminis, I feel like this has to do with um, an exchange of ideas, actually. Okay? I feel for some of you, you're bouncing ideas off someone and you're coming into something that you're investing time and money in in terms of a new kind of avenue for business, okay? For some of you, this is expanding on, on a current skill set. Like, you're not necessarily making a career change or you're not necessarily starting a business, but you're expanding your current skills in some way. Maybe there's some new technology in your field or new modalities or a new way of doing things. And so some of you are getting some help in making this happen. Some of you are receiving some kind of a loan or magically the universe is, is, is pulling things together for you financially so that you're able to take some kind of a workshop or some kind of a training, which is going to end up making you money in the future for your stability. Now, I'm not trying to focus on money as like a material thing, like money, 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 like, you know, like, like money loving. But we have to be very honest here. We live in a world where money is needed. It, it, it just really is. So it's going to be a part of our life. And sometimes it's difficult to focus on other avenues if we're like afraid of, of, of being homeless or if we are homeless or if there's things happening, right? Or if we're not getting enough to eat or if we're not able to meet our, our, our physical necessities. So when I focus on this, Gemini, it's not because I'm focusing on it in like a materialistic way about like living a, a life of extravagance. But this is the universe just letting you know that things are coming together for you so that your needs and necessities can and will be met. If you are struggling, this is letting you know better times are coming ahead. And maybe for some of you, you had a time where you were really living the high life. You know, maybe you were really, really like living like a queen or a king. 
and maybe it got squandered maybe you just let the wrong people in and they used you up or uh you you spent too much or you lived too extravagantly and now you're in a very difficult situation the universe is letting you know you will rebuild but this time around you're going to be smarter about it okay you're going to be smarter about it and you're going to be living a life of meaning and 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 more um uh true connections with others all right, my lovelies, let's check out your soul card, your angel message, your soul work card, soul homework card, and see what the message is for you all the week ahead. Be sure to check out your moon sign and rising sign cards to, uh, videos too, guys, because some weeks those are going to have additional information for you and, and make things a little bit more personal for you, even though they're general readings. All right, here is your card Gar uh guardian you're being watched over you're being protected some of you are afraid that's what i feel like some of you are afraid because everything is very new for you some of you i feel like you're feeling completely and totally vulnerable completely and totally out in the open like a sitting duck like full-on feeling vulnerable and naked and the universe is letting you know you are being watched over. For some of you, this this guardian is in the form of an earth angel. Okay? Um, earth angels are light workers. Earth angels are uh, spiritual leaders and guides, you know? And they come in different ways and different forms. Some of you may be coming across this person at like a uh, religious service, you know? So for some of you, maybe it is traditionally in a church. For other ones of you, it could be somebody who maybe is a little bit more me metaphysical. Um, and this person, you know, might just be coming in and teaching you... Uh, I don't want to say the meaning of life because that sounds so serious, but this person might be helping you get your priorities straight and realizing what is important in life and how to connect with it and how to find um, ways of feeling loved and feeling safe and purpose and fulfillment and all of those wonderful things bringing you into the deeper realm, okay? So you are being watched over in this time, even though there's a lot of changes and it might feel very unsettling for you and very uncomfortable. You do have angels watching you. You know, some of you, I feel like you're dreaming a lot about a grandparent that passed away. These are visitations coming in with messages. So pay attention to it. Okay. Because this grandparent is letting you know, Hey, I'm one of your guardian angels. I'm here. I see what you're going through. I'm here to help you. I'm giving you some advice in your dream. You know, so pay attention to those messages because, you know, the spirit world is trying to let you know that you are protected and that you are loved and you're being watched over. And they're also sending you some form of earth angel or guide in the physical realm to help you and to be there for you, right? And to pull you out of the whole thing of like, you know, uh valuing you for what you can do for them financially or valuing you for what you can do for them sexually like you're learning that there's life outside of that a lot of you gemini's that there's a lot more to life and that's not necessarily what makes you a valuable person you're getting to know all of the ways in which you're a valuable person that maybe you hadn't seen before so that's very exciting my lovelies uh like i said be sure to check out your moon sign and rising sign videos and you might need a private reading the description has a link in there to book with me if you want a private reading if you want love readings the link is in the description as well uh the decks i used the nails all the things you guys ask me are in the description of the video thank you so much for watching liking sharing commenting uh subscribing thank you so very much my friends that helps me to keep make videos and until next time